Okay, so continuing to field more questions here for US Simile. I'm addressing this clip more from an entertainment standpoint, okay? It's half humorous, everybody relax, okay? But I do genuinely have a student asking me about, OMG, how could I get a 280 plus LOLs uh, on the US Simile? In other words, obviously you're gunner, you're gonna maximize your prep, you're gonna do everything you can to ace it, get 260, 270 plus, we all want perfect score. But OMG, how do we get a 280 plus, holy shit, on the US Simile, okay? so. Before we get started, allow me to be an asshole like I usually am, tell you to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel, share with one of your friends prepping for US Simile, help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button, hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram, uh, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, link is down below. And find us on Telegram, recently created a Telegram group and channel, the links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question from a, a half humorous standpoint as far as OMG LOLs, how do you get a 280 plus in the US Simile? Look, not only do you have to maximize your prep as far as doing the QBank material, do, uh, memorizing all the NBME content, as I've talked about extensively in my other clips, you'll get many people who score very high on the US Simile executing on any number of preparatory permutations of preparatory methods. Okay, so there's no one way you have to prepare to ace the US Simile. But it should be noted that Look, it's annoying, okay? It's sort of just, this is how life is. If a, if someone's gonna get a super high score, an unnecessarily ridiculous score, venturing into once a year territory where they post a 281 on Reddit, something ridiculous, okay? A lot of that is going to be just, you have that person who's a really good test taker, irrespective of what he or she does to prep, okay? It sort of just works like that absurd analogy is it's like asking someone in the gym who has massive fucking calves what protein he takes when in reality his calves have nothing to do with his fucking protein okay it's just he genetically has big calves so if someone's going to ace the USMLE OMG get a 281 okay some crazy high score a lot of that's just going to be innate test taking ability and having prepped really well going through lots of content some people like to like to pretend like they don't prepare extensively. They fucking prepare, okay, in secrecy. That's what some people do. They prepare really well. They're just genetically gifted test takers. And there is an element of getting lucky on a few questions on the USMLE. Maybe there's five questions. You have no fucking idea what the answer is. And those questions are the difference between a 272 and a 280. And... Just based on the sheer number in the population of people sitting US Simile, there's going to be people who could guess correct on all five of those questions by luck. Okay, so it's a combination of preparing really, really well and extensively, being very just a good test taker, and then to get you literally over like 275 to 280 plus into absurdity territory, you kind of have to get lucky on a few of the guesses you make as well. Maybe luck's not a good word, okay? Some people will debate that because maybe your gut instincts, there's that lateral thinking where you were able to just converge in on that answer choice regardless. But you need to have all of those assets in place. Good prep, good test-taking ability, and then you can kind of be fortunate to answer those questions you don't know correctly. I'll continue making more content. You know the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.